and by can and moon also. I don't pursue Ruchitata. The Tata Bo Bosenka Kalaka, Kawa, fifteenth of December, twenty twenty three. I couldn't connect enough to do an update of Nabo Bostamaki phenomena Nibu. And the key is to Eastern News twenty four. I go to do no update Bastama Kakaibi for Saganun on Kokibe, Nubasi and Katata, the Kaine Nanya, and K. Uh, Munove, Kamazinam de Kanu, Ponyendo, Kendibo. I can offer an update here. Maybe Kunne so like a chalk of a cousin, he said. He said, I should have one year in a ball if I would tell you about Sinkatawa, Bo Moninti. Bastamak, if I name a pen and Bastamaka, I be fair. I knew no line in a Mazinan Kanayapata. So again, to Kununi, we have from Prime Minister Kasi, the teacher. Don't get here, when I drop a comment, you know, on the commission bureau, the furniture of Bastamaka, I be fair. All right, over to you, sir. I of the Fulani Caliphate in IPOB because he gained the trust of Mazinan the Kano, he gained the trust of IPOB. Uh, ESN personnel and he entered them and he began to pass vital information to what led to the death of Ikonso. Don't be surprised that the Jofo was having meeting with the ESN commanders, including meeting with Ikonso. Don't be surprised that the Jofo have, you know, don't be surprised that even Ikonso may have passed a night in a Jofo's house. <laughs> What I'm telling you is nothing but the truth. So, Ejofo was acting like Gumi. How Gumi was acting to the bandit is the exact thing Ejofo was doing to IPOB and ESN. And he penetrated and began to go for meeting. You know, when uh, let us read, I am reading his right, you know, it is not me saying it. He said, ostensibly offering that he was coming to, he was frequently coming home to ostensibly offer a solution for lasting peace, which Sheikh Gumi, who is effectively but brazenly aiding, abetting and benefiting from the proceed of heinous activities of Boko Haram, Fulani Hesmen and Bandit cannot offer, but still protected by the security agent of the state. These meetings have always been the knowledge and commendation of all relevant stakeholders whom I may not mention in this part of my press statement. You see, it was involving all stakeholders that a Geofo does not want to mention in this press statement, but a Geofo mentioned it, a Geofo mentioned it during the interview, which I played. A Geofo said the governors the uh, political elite, the all stakeholders, Nigeria security agent, they are of the know of this particular uh, thing he is doing. He said that if it was to be in a very good society, he must be protected. Now, as a Jofo, protecting a Jofo against who? <laughs> who against who? <laughs> if you are having security meeting with the state, governors, the security agent. So who should protect you? Against what? Because there is something inside the Jofo know that one day this whole thing is going to be made open. So who is, pro are you, pro you know, what are you, who, a Jofo said he should be protected. Against who? I am asking. Is it against the same state that he is working for? <laughs> or against the people that he, he has exposed and they killed them. I don't understand. But anyway, it is left for you. What we do here is to expose and then you can be the judge. And interestingly, the now late Mr. Samuel Okoro, which is the gentle, who was my personal assistant, had always been with me. I risked my life, abandoned my lovely family to travel home, more often because of my desire for a total peace that will bring to an end the entire hostilities in our region. I want you people to read along the line. A Jofo leaving his family 
risking everything to frequently travel down to southeast to make sure that he bring peace and to end the entire hostility in southeast region. This is what a Jofo wrote. So, you know, from the activities of a Jofo today, the way a Jofo is attacking Biafra Freedom Movement, the way a Jofo is attacking Eastern Security Network, from the activity of a Jofo today, both in print media, both in a video, both in everything, who is a Jofo thinking that they are responsible for this hostility in this region he's talking about? Is IPOB and Biafra people. That is the reason. Now, who is the leader of this Biafra movement that the Geofo is calling criminals? Maze Namdekan. And all of you are the members. All of you are Biafrans. So why we are struggling to protect our land from the version of Fulani, the Geofo is busy. For the past one and a half year, condemning Ndiibo, calling you criminal, calling you cast kidnappers, Calling you cast snatchers, calling you Ndoshi, calling you Ndinemi Hojo, calling you all manner of names. All in the name to actualize what he started leading to the kidnap of Mazin and the Kano and the killing of Ikonso, the beginning. The beginning was the killing of Ikonso, age of four was the eye of the Fulani in IPOB. A Geofor was the eye of Nigeria in IPOB. All the commanders that died, A Geofor was part of the eyes. A Geofor entered IPOB and Mazinam Dikano was taking him as a lawyer and he became the eye of the Nigeria government in IPOB. He became the eye of Omahe I hope you are getting the point. Now let us continue. Upon my return home on Saturday, 5th June 2021, I was informed that the country Bishop of Onitsha, Prophet, Most Reverend Valerian Oke, wanted to see me in a meeting which I thought would be private one. So the that he went to, to see in the meeting is not actually the Bishop Chukuma like a lot of people have said a lot of people have said that it was Bishop Chukuma but here, Geofor did not refer to Bishop Chukuma Geofor said, Most Reverend Valerian Okeke he went to meet him and on the 5th let us continue I honored this invitation where his grace raised a number of pertinent issues and consequently commended me for my untiring effort toward achieving peace in our region. The Reverend commended Ejiofo for his untiring peace. While Ejiofo was in this meeting where the Reverend was commending him for his untiring peace, this particular Commander of ESM called Gentle was by the side of Ejiofo. This Madubugo you see today was also by the side of Ejiofo. His grace prayed for me and equally offered further useful advice. We agreed for a formal meeting where major stakeholders will be notified and equally represented. Are you people listening? I left the bishop court, but not until his grace blessed me for the opt-in time. They blessed him for the opt-in time. And he prayed for me and my friend, who was in my company. A Geophone now tell you that they prayed for him and his friend. It is a lie. The friend a Geophone was referring to here is gentle. All of a sudden, gentle now turned to a friend. Another friend that was in company of a job was Madubugu. The one they call Madubugu. I told you people that I'm not talking about him yet. His time is coming. I'm still watching. 
Madubugo, the one that went to to kiss Onyendu, to give Onyendu the kiss of death, according to Ejiofo, the one that went to court and uh, and uh, kiss Onyendu. You know, <laughs> he came out to say Onyendu say everywhere must be peace. That is what Ejiofo have made him to you know to believe. All of them have betrayed Mazina Bikan. As if Mazina Bikan is a violent person. I do not know why they are talking that only to say peace, 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 peace. One thing is this. After this whole thing that we are planning, all of them were part of it. Because the same Madubugo was inside the house with a Jofo. They locked two of them. They locked themselves inside the bulletproof house. And I was communicating with them. Madubugo was there. Ejofo was there. Two of them in that house. While others were outside. So Ejofo is not talking about friend. The only people that were in that meeting where they went to see the reverend was Madubugo, Ejofo, and the gentle. And the reverend father prayed for Ejofo and gentle. I am giving you a vital information. And the reason why this information needs to be passed to the public is so that you will be the judge. And let me tell you. Let us continue. I drove back home. Ejofo said he drove back. Ejofo said I drove back home in my red Toyota car. Age of four said he drove back. Age of four did not say the, the, uh, the, uh, that the driver drove back. Age of four said he drove back. The question you should be asking yourself now is that how did they get the key of the car? If Age of four was the one who drove this red Toyota car by himself, would he ordinarily leave the key car, the car key in the, in the, in the car or where? I don't understand. Or you will drive your car and you leave the car key there. So the first thing, I drove back home in my red Toyota car, the same car the criminals in security uniform stole from my house during their bloody invasion attack on my home. And inside the same car, my PA and the car itself were set ablaze. So how did they get the key? Or will you drive your car and pass the key to, some, to somebody else. I have no doubt in my mind that his grace will be distraught to hear that the very fine gentleman, are you hearing it? The very fine gentleman, age of four confirming what I'm telling you here, the very fine gentleman, Mr. Samuel Okoro, he prayed for on Saturday, was brutally murdered by agent of the darkness in less than seven hours after visiting him. Have you people seen it? A Jofo told you here that it was a friend. Here, he finally mentioned the name of the person that the reverend prayed for. I told you there were three. Madubugo, a Jofo, and this gentle. And uh, uh, the reverend did not pray for Madubugo. Uh -huh. But they prayed for a Jofo and this gentle. So here, Ejofo was telling you that he, uh, the grace, his grace here, Ejofo said, his grace blessed me for the obtained time and prayed for me and my friend. Ejofo did not say, pray for me and my friends. Friends means in plural, not singular. Here, Ejofo said, pray for my friend, which means one person. Which means one friend. And by Dalulin and Okunusi, when they saw a line near Neme, Nira Bobo, Lubos in Katata, I see now to go Kabia Mapromi and Ine, Yakosin, no fun, no fun, only a bamboo cone stay tuned, Obeloga. I am the Gosu Nyabu update to Boba Stamaka if any menu non cocky be no bosinketa a bamboo key make a shoni so it I of Mofuma. Your bunny will you drop quite a year on the commission below. All right, um, thank you and stay tuned.
chitakwani ya kwa East News 24 kaisi kwa wene utarun mozi ya do kemba. Darunu mune mwane kembe siyano.